again and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed last night's story and that you've had a good day today. Something really fun happened here last night. All of my neighbours came outside and they clapped and they cheered for all the people who've been helping us, like the doctors and the nurses of the NHS. I wonder if your neighbours did the same. And it made me think, who is my neighbour? Is it just the lady who lives next door? Or could it mean something else? And that's what our story's about tonight. You can find this story in your Bible in the book of Luke. Jesus was so popular with the people that the religious leaders became jealous of him. They wanted to get rid of him and they tried to catch him out with difficult questions like, what do I need to do to have eternal life? What does God's law tell you to do? Jesus asked. Well, it says I must love God with all my heart and all my strength and all my mind and that I must love my neighbour as much as myself. But what does that mean? Who is my neighbour? To answer his question, Jesus told a story. There was once a man who was on a journey from Jerusalem to Jericho. On the way he was attacked by some robbers. They beat him up and they left him for dead. Soon after, a priest came by. He saw the man, but he didn't do anything to help him. He just walked past. Then a teacher of the law came by, and he didn't help the man either. He just walked past. Later, a Samaritan came along. He saw the man, and he immediately felt sorry for him. He very gently cleaned the man's wounds, and he put him on his donkey and took him to an inn. The next day, Jesus continued, when the Samaritan was ready to leave, he gave the innkeeper some money and he said, take care of this man. When I come back this way, I will pay you any extra you've had to spend. The Samaritan did all this, even though the man was a Jew and the Jews and the Samaritans had not been friends. So Jesus looked at the leader and he asked him, who would you say behaved like a real neighbour? Why, the good Samaritan, of course, replied the man. That's right, said Jesus. Now go and try to be more like him. There's a picture of the good Samaritan giving the innkeeper some money. The real neighbour was the person who helped. It didn't matter that they hadn't been friends. It didn't matter that he wasn't a priest or a teacher of the law. He just wanted to help. And you can help your neighbours too. There might be people in your street. Or there might be people who live in a different country. Our neighbours are people that we reach out to and we love. We'd like to pray now. Close your eyes if you'd like to. Heavenly Father, thank you that your word teaches us that we need to love you and we need to love people. Everyone in the world can be our neighbour. Thank you that you guide us. Amen. And we'll see you again next time. Night-night.